Forgive me, I'm out of breath. And I'm only sitting here talking. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I've decided that I'm going to start documenting the end of my pregnancy with baby number two. So this is my first video and we're just gonna go for a wind and start it. I'm gonna start off by telling you a little bit about myself and my family and go from there. So we are a family of three. I'm girlfriend to Anthony who I've been with for the last almost five years. I've been with him since college. Mom to one, Alyssa, who's two and a half and will be three in October. And I'm currently 28 weeks pregnant with baby number two, our beautiful baby girl. So this is going to be kind of like a first and second trimester update. And then I will do weekly updates from now up until the end of my pregnancy. And then different baby hauls and day in the lives. And just to document my journey this time around that I wasn't able to do the first time around. So I'm going to be looking up my phone, and it's just notes I've jotted down for my first and second trimester um, so that I can document and share. I've been trying to do this video for a while, I just never had the time, so I finally got a camera and have the time today. I'm actually going to film two videos today, so if you see me in the same outfit, this is literally the only time this week that I have. So let's get started. So I found out I was pregnant January 31st, and... We were very excited. We had actually talked about trying towards the end of this year, but found out we were expecting at the beginning of this year. So we were pretty excited. And I feel like my morning sickness started the minute I found out I was pregnant. It was like, you're pregnant, here it is. And it was pretty bad. I found out I was pregnant at three weeks. So January 31st, it was only about three weeks. And I saw the doctor for the first time at 11 and a half weeks because I was having trouble with my insurance and baby girl's heart rate was 145 and they couldn't find the heart rate at first so we like automatically freaked out but then we had an ultrasound scheduled right after the appointment so they were able to find her heart rate and she was just moving a lot she's been very active from the beginning so they were able to track it and everything was fine. I found out she was a girl at 14 weeks. We paid for a private ultrasound. Not with my doctor, but a different company. And they were able to tell me that she was a girl. I had many cravings my first trimester. Um, we had avocado, tomato, cheese fries, which I never crave. And steak. I usually eat avocado tomato and steak a lot but cheese fries was really really rare because i don't really eat them and i don't really get the urge so that was like the biggest craving that i had i did get hormonal acne just my first trimester i think it left after that and i had it on my face and on my back i thought it would last longer but it actually didn't it was just the first trimester and then the first trimester i was like super tired as you can see I'm 28 weeks now and I'm losing breath as I'm talking Jesus but my first trimester I was actually really really tired um, which is pretty normal I was really tired with my first but I felt like I didn't allow myself to feel it with my first because I did work my entire pregnancy this time I'm a stay-at-home mom pursuing my master's degree so I'm home all day with my toddler and I think I on top of having a toddler and being pregnant, growing another baby, I was like extremely tired and exhausted all day long. And I wasn't able to lay down whenever I wanted to because I did have a toddler. But once Anthony came home, he would take over and I kind of would rest for a little bit in the afternoons. Whew, forgive me, I'm out of breath. And I'm only sitting here talking. So my second trimester, I experienced a lot of headaches. It was really, really bad, kind of like migraines, and I really don't take anything. I'm afraid to take anything, so I never took Tylenol or anything that I was able to take. I kind of just drank water and let it ride. Lemon water is my go-to, has been my go-to pretty much at pregnancy. I absolutely love it. Just nice cold cup of iced lemon water. Perfect. My energy started picking up this time around, but my morning, si morning sickness also picked up. 
so I was like really energetic but I was also really sick which was weird um, it my morning sickness did so slow down towards the end and by the end I mean like 22 weeks 20 weeks and then by slowing down I mean like I would have it like one every once a week or stuff like that I still get really sick um, now but it's random days it, I really don't know when it's coming and I really can't say oh I'll be fine tomorrow it's like I wake up fine and then I get in the car and we're going somewhere and I'm like pull over so it's just stuff like that I felt the baby really early I felt like I felt her at 12 weeks and they're not like big cakes or anything they're flutters but during my second trimester they actually slowed down so we kind of freaked out and I called my doctor and she told me to come in and it was because she believed that my placenta was in the front and that's why we kept having trouble hearing the baby when we would go in um because the first and second appointment i believe they had trouble hearing her through the doppler um the second time they finally found her the first time i they found her through an ultrasound but it was really hard for them the first and second appointment to find her so she believed that my placenta was in the front so we weren't able to get answers into my anatomy scan and that's why i wasn't feeling her so I think that's called a like placenta previa. I could be wrong, um, so don't quote me on it, but I believe that's what it was that she was telling me I could have had. But I didn't end up having it in my anatomy scan. My anatomy scan came out clear and everything was fine. They were able to find her fast through the Doppler and then again through the ultrasound and she had all her little tools and everything she was supposed to have during the anatomy scan, so that was perfect. Then they confirmed the gender of her being a girl and that's the day we finally came up with a name for her i will share that at a later time i don't know if i'm going to do a separate video with her name or if i'm going to share it after she's born we'll see but that was definitely the moment we looked at each other and anthony just popped up with a name and i was like at first i was like mm, and then i was like yeah that's it but we'll get into that in another video so yeah, second trimester was when we came up with her name and you also have to take the glucose test with Alyssa. It was easy going. I did it one time. I passed and it was fine. The drink actually isn't that bad. It hasn't been that bad for me. Any of my pregnancies, the first time it was like an orangey. It tasted kind of like Fanta. This time it was clear and it tasted kind of like Sprite. It's really sugary and then you have to fast from like midnight the day before up until your exam. And then you, the first one's one hour. And if you feel that one, then the second is three hours. So I did feel the first one, and I was kind of disappointed, but I kind of expected it because I had had a lot of sugar before. I was craving it really bad. I mean, like, I wanted Starbucks every single day the week before I had to take my test. But, so I expected it. I filled it by four points. So she was like, don't worry too much. Just take it again, and we'll see. We'll go from there. My iron the first time around did come back low. So she was worried a little bit about it, but not that worried. So I took it again and I passed the three hour test. So I didn't have diabetes or anything, but my iron did come back low again. And again, she said she wasn't too worried about it because it wasn't that bad, but that I should add iron to my diet. And she didn't give me any iron capsules, but she just told me to add because of my, because my anemia levels were low. Um, so I have been trying to add different kind of iron supplements to my diet as well as taking iron pills every once in a while. And then the last thing would be my second trimester cravings. And again, it, it's been a lot of sugar and it was, it's been cereal and ice cream, which is really bad. Not really bad. Um, but it's really weird because with Alyssa, I only craved watermelon all my pregnancy, like all of it. So it's kind of interesting this time around how different my pregnancies are. But yeah, my last my last cravings have been cereal and ice cream. And that's pretty much it for my first and second trimester. If you have any other questions, please follow me on Instagram, on Twitter. I'll leave everything linked down below for you. Come on this journey with me and my family as we document more of this pregnancy and more of our lives this time around so that we can look back on and 
enjoy in the future between us it'll be quite a journey and i can't wait to share this with you and have them saved for my family as well and thank you again don't forget to subscribe like this video if you liked it and follow us on social media thank you